Hello and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep IAS. Welcome to the big news. The topic for today's discussion, Methane Alert and Response System. Before we understand what this topic is in greater detail, we have an announcement. Baiju's Exam Prep IAS, as part of its PTS 2023, will be conducting the second mock test with respect to polity on 13th of November 9.30 a.m. The link will be given in the description box. Fill the basic necessary information and you would be able to take up this free mock test with respect to polity. Let's get started and try and understand what is this topic all about. Methane happens to be one of the important hydrocarbon that is a product of a natural gas. But methane also happens to be a greenhouse gas as well and its presence in the atmosphere increases the earth's temperature and the climate system. According to the United Nations, 25% of the warming that the world is experiencing today is because of methane and methane happens to be a greenhouse gas which is also a component of the natural gas. There are various sources of methane. This can be broadly categorized into natural sources. It can be divided into what is called as the human sources as well. As part of the assignment, you have to put on the comment section, what are the natural sources of methane? Please put it on the comment section. Then we have something called as the human sources of methane. Which are the human sources of methane? This includes fossil fuel, which is about 33%, biofuels about 4%, rice agriculture, which is 9%, biomass burning, it is about 11%, landfills and waste, which is about 16%, and livestock, which is about 27%. NASA also notes that human sources, also referred to as anthropogenic sources of methane, are responsible for 60% of the global methane emissions. So what do we understand by this? That the greenhouse gases is also contributed significantly by the methane. We have the oil and the gas sectors, which are among the largest contributors to the human sources of the methane as the statistics clearly define. Further looking into the statistics, we have data that is taken for multiple regions for China, for South Asia, North America, Southeast Asia, Korea and Japan, Latin America, Middle East, Russia, Europe, Equatorial and South Africa, Northern America, Brazil and Central Asia. This can be further divided into fermentation and manure, oil and gas, landfills and waste coal mining, rice cultivation. This clearly points out that we have significant amount of methane emissions that is emitted from multiple regions across the world. Now what we have to focus is on carbon dioxide and methane. We know for the fact that carbon dioxide is also a greenhouse gas. We also know for the fact that methane is now a greenhouse gas as well. How are they significantly different? When we speak about methane, it happens to be a major greenhouse gas which has the chemical formula of CH4 and carbon dioxide is a major greenhouse gas that has a chemical formula of CO2. When it comes to the sources, enters the atmosphere during the production and transport of coal natural gas and oil and when it comes to the carbon dioxide it enters the atmosphere mainly through the burning of fossil fuel what is the lifespan in the atmosphere it is comparatively shorter for methane and it is comparatively longer for carbon dioxide and when it comes to efficiency it is far more efficient in trapping the radiation but carbon dioxide is comparatively less efficient in trapping the radiation this clearly depicts that methane is far more dangerous than carbon dioxide in its potential to cause a global warming so methane has a much shorter atmospheric lifetime it is a much more potent greenhouse gas simply because it absorbs more energy while it is in the atmosphere. In order to mitigate the impact of the methane emissions in the past, there have been number of measures taken and the global community in the past had launched one of the programs called as the Global Methane Pledge. This Global Methane Pledge was initially proposed by United States of America as well as the European Union. What is the objective of the Global Methane Pledge? Basically, participants will join this particular pledge. They will take voluntary action plans to contribute to the global effect to mitigate the impact of the methane emissions. Therefore, at the Glasgow Climate Conference in the year 2021, as many as 100 countries came together in a voluntary pledge. They basically went on to say they will cut the methane emissions by 30% by the year 2030. 
followed by this another program called as the International Methane Emissions Observatory was launched at the G20 summit. So the International Methane Emissions Observatory is a data driven action focused initiative by the United Nations Environment Program with support from the European Commission to catalyze dramatic reduction of methane emissions starting with the energy sector. How does this work? This is an initiative of the United Nations Environment Program. There are different sources of methane. It can be from agriculture, it can be from fossil fuels. So there are different sources of the methane emissions. These sources are collected by the International Methane Emissions Observatory. So they collect it, they integrate it, they reconcile the methane data from different sources. This can also be from the scientific measurement studies. It can also be from the satellites as well. This can also be from the national inventories as well. This can be from the oil and gas methane partnership as well. So from different sources, the data is collected and ultimately it is given to a respective country where the emission sources are produced. So basically, it is a program that was launched at the G20 summit by the United Nations Environment Program. To give further impetus to minimize the impact of the methane emissions, we have a new program initiated by the United Nations which is called as the Methane Alert Response System. This was introduced as part of the 27th United Nations Climate Change Conference and this will be part of United Nations Environmental Programs International Methane Emissions Observatory. How will this work? We have the International Methane Emissions Observatory which will coordinate with the Committee on Earth Observation Satellites and work with existing global mapping satellites to identify very large plumes and methane hotspots and conduct further analysis using other satellites. It will work directly and through partners to notify relevant governments companies to large emission events happening in or near their jurisdictions or operations will continue this engagement as more information becomes viable. What do we understand by this? We have an advanced satellite system. This satellite system is able to read the methane emissions from multiple countries. It will convey the same information to the government as well as to the respective organizations and they would be able to take mitigating action plan as well. So if so requested, Mars can also partner and give technical and advisory services to such a country as well. The United Nations Environment Program will also continue to monitor their locations, make the data and analysis available to the public as well. So if there is an emission that is happening from a respective country, this will be read by the satellite. The data would be given to the government as well as to the private organizations and if said so desire, an analysis would be done, technical information would be given to the government and the organization so that they are able to mitigate the impact. What about the funding? So when we speak about the funding, developed in the framework of the Global Methane Pledge Energy Pathway with initial funding from the European Commission, the US government, Global Methane Hub and the Bezos Earth Fund, Mars will allow UNEP to corroborate emissions reported by companies and characterize changes over the time. In addition to supporting the mass, the Global Methane Hub and the Bezos Earth Fund are providing further funding for other UNEP IMEO activities. How will the implementation work? Mars along with IMEO will collaborate with various institutional partners including the International Energy Agency and the Climate and the Clean Air Coalition. What is the significance of this particular program? This is the first publicly available global system. This would be able to give us the information about the methane detection and at the same time it will also provide us the notification. So it will identify methane and it will also provide notification to the government. It will make the use of satellite system to identify all the major emission events, notify relevant stakeholders as well and support and track the mitigation progress that has been made significantly in the past year. And cutting methane is also the fastest opportunity to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions, reduce the global warming and keep 1.5 degree within the reach. It is this that we have to understand with respect to this topic. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching. All the best.